Hello, here is Ahmed, and here is a course on Observer Design with MATLAB Simulink Tutorial. So, Observer Design, I will not go into the theory, I will take an example, a second order example, and we'll try to find the observer for this second order systems. So, we have this example with the matrix A and the matrix B, and we have this output Y. We have to find the observer for this second order system with x1 and x2. From the C matrix, as you see, we can know that x1 is known or measured. So here are the steps that we can follow in order to find the observer. First of all, we have to study the observability of the system. The second point, we have to give the structure of the observer. And at the end, we have to find the observer gain L. For the step one, we have to find the observability matrix using the MATLAB function OB OBSV. And we have to study its rank. For the step two, the structure of the observer is given in the course. So we have to find this structure in the course slides. Here is the structure of the observer and let us take d equal to zero. So I will raise it here. So we can write the estimated state x hat in function of a and b and l and c x hat. I will group all the matrices and I will find a observer x hat plus b observer times u and l times v and v is the concatenation of u and y. So let us return to the problem. We have a system with input U and output Y. We have to find, to use the observer to estimate its internal state. So the inputs of the observer are U and Y, and the output of this observer will be the estimated state X hat. So in the observer, as we can see, we have the state matrix of the observer and the input matrix of the observer depending on L. And here we have to find how to find this gain L, the observer gain. So, variable declaration, I will put the matrices in the MATLAB, in a MATLAB script, here A and B, and C and D, and I have to put D. To find L, we can use the function anchor, I choose two arbitrary uh, observer poles. So then I will construct the matrix A ops and B ops and C ops. I will take identity in order to have the state estimated state. And I am obliged to create D ops, which is the same size of B ops but with zeros. So I run everything and you find the result. The first approach, I will use Simulink, so I will use bag, uh, block diagrams. I have to find an integrator and some gain, and I will put a step. So here, do not forget that we have to make a matrix multiplication, so I will create A, B, C, and D. And uh, the system is x dot equal AX plus BU, so I need a summator. So B times U and a times x, which is the output of the integrator. And this is like this, we can find the first equation. And the second equation of the output is y equals cx plus du. And I will put that everything in a summator. And I can put this in a scope. I will run the simulation. And you will find this result. I will let you see why it is diverging. Now I want to make the observer design, so it will be the same structure of the system, but I have to create using the A ops, B ops, D ops, and C ops. The observer inputs are the input of the system <coughs> and the output of the system. So U and Y, and I can now compare the output of the system with the output of the observer using a 
this comparator so I forgot here to put the uh, CX and U but it is zero and I will copy a scope and I will see the error between the system and the observer as you see here it is very small so we have uh, good observation but it's better to put some initial conditions in the integrator of the observer I will put this in the arbitrary initial conditions and we see that the observer will converge the error will converge to zero after a certain time for the second approach it is the same thing but instead I will use the state space of the simulink so I will look for a state space where the first one is for the system and the second one is the observer I will put a b c and d for the system here I will put i equal to and I will put zeros because I want to get out x for the observer I will put the observer matrices b a obs b obs c obs and d obs and then I will put the input for the system I will use step I will this is and I will put a summation summa, summation and a scope for the for the observer do not forget that we need a multiplexer so the multiplexer is with two inputs the first input will be the input of the system and here I will put C to have the output of the system so C times X is Y I will put in the second input of the max and and then I will try to compare the output of the system with the output of the observer and here as you will see we will get also a zero error if we put different initial conditions different from zero as you will see we will have conversions for more information see the links in the description thank you bye bye